What, what's the bell rating? That's something that we are we came up against, and we we were completely unprepared for it. Yes. So we have to learn about uh, learn about the ratings, and it's, it really affects the cost of what you're doing as well. It talk, does talk me it. significantly can affect the cost. Um, the, the bushfire declared areas has been around for quite some time now, uh, but it got ramped up since Black Saturday. Uh, the state government took the initiative of covering a lot of the areas of the state and declaring them as bushfire prone. They covered in a two two prong attack. Um, one is the one we've been exposed to through the planning process is there's a mapping system for bushfire management overlays, the terminology, um, and when you apply for your planning permit, through the CFA referral, they advise you of the particular requirements that you need. And a part of those requirements is the bell rating. Now it starts at a bell low and can go as high as what they call flame zone. Bell 29 sort of a bit above middle of the road, but as you've experienced, it causes a bit of grief. Um, on the building side of things, uh, which is a separate mapping system of bushfire areas, it's not the same. Um, if you aren't in a planning bushfire map area, but you're in a building bushfire map area, then we can do an assessment under the Australian standard, which is this little baby, um, AS3959, and come up with a bowel rating. You detail the construction to that level and away we go. But with the planning process and what you've had to go through under the bushfire management overlay, that's a separate criteria and they look further afield as far as fuel loads and dangers to, to the, the actual house construction. So it's really about then um, assessing what the, the fire risk is yeah. and trying to mitigate um, the intensity of, 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 that, um, of that event. Yeah, base, well, to, to a degree. The one thing I do emphasise is it is not a fire bunker, right? Even if you're in a flame zone, the house is not a substitute for a bunker. And that's where a lot of people get confused. They spend a lot of extra money for these construction requirements on a house. And it is there to save property, not life. So that there's not so much loss of property to a degree. And um, the low level and 12.5 is more against Embratec where the flame zone is against the fire front. <laughs>